I'm like totally excited and super stoked to be sitting with someone that's just as focused and zoned in as I am. Pull in because Sam Wright and I are about to be the center of your attention. So Sam, some people know you as like tech girl. Can you tell us how did this all start? Before I do that, can I just say you said you were stoked to hang out with me. I am so stoked that I get to chat to you today. I am fangirling like a fangirl. Yes. So how did tech all start? Um, I was being very serious in an engineering job and I just realized that I wanted to have a little bit more fun and I wanted to be able to to chat to girls who were a little bit geeky like me but loved tech, loved to giggle but also loved a little bit of glamour and I thought the best way to do that is not to go out and meet interesting fun people in real life but rather just to start a blog and meet them on the internet and that was how tech all started. So basically like internet dating, but just meeting other girls. Internet dating for besties. I love that. We should call it Binder. There we go. We just we just started an app. Oh my gosh. Speaking of, which is your favorite app? My absolute favorite app is Snapchat. I wish we were actually like able to get in one of those, you know, those dog Snapchat filters. Yes. Those are my favorite. Mine too, actually. You should be my bestie. Okay, I'm going to find you on Binder. Done. You're so cool, Sam. Okay, so Sam, you're like a blogger, you're a vlogger, I mean, you're so cool. You're an MC, you travel, and you have a full-time job. Like, how do you focus and get everything done? I think if you love what you do, you will always have more hours in the day. And if you are giving 110% and you're just really enjoying what you're doing and you're really passionate about it, you just find the time. It's also really important, though, to have a little bit of a work-life balance. So as much as it's it's fun to do all of that stuff, I also think it's really important sometimes to just take a step back and swipe right on Binder instead of doing actual work. Now... Whenever like I do a podcast and I often do them, I warm up my voice with a zen. Um, I get like super like focused. How do you prepare for the work that you do? Are you into like face beating before you get on camera or do you do any like vocal warm ups? Every single morning I wake up and I start my day with it's super califragilisticexpialidocious, even though the sound of it, I'm not going to carry on because my singing voice is not that great. But that is the way I start the day and then I'm ready to go. And I don't think anyone can be unhappy and not full of energy if they don't sing that song. How do you zone in on a tech gadget when there's so many like on the market to be reviewed, to be tested? I mean, the app store's got a new app every day. I think you need to find out what suits your life. So I know what my personality is. I'm, I'm really driven. I'm a little bit crazy. I'm off the wall all the time. Slightly cheeky. I try to find technology that speaks to me. Hello, tech girl. And I try to find stuff that I can relate to and that suits my personality. And the rest of it, it doesn't mean it's not cool. It's just maybe not for me. That's awesome. And like you're all about girl power because you're a girl in the game of tech. How easy is it for you or is it quite difficult in this male-dominated like industry? I think it actually is difficult and, and it's it's time to get a little bit serious, but but as a woman in a space that is male dominated, it can sometimes be really tough because sometimes you aren't taken seriously or you maybe want to have a little bit of fun. Like for me, I'm a bit cheeky and I'm a bit silly. It doesn't necessarily mean that I don't know what I'm talking about, but sometimes people might see it that way or, or maybe that they think because you, you happen to like taking selfies, you can't be taken seriously. And I think what's really important is to always take a step back and remember that's a reflection of them and not necessarily necessarily you and also to just remember to support other women because maybe that's something that we don't do enough is uplifting each other as females and I definitely think that in an industry like tech or gaming it's really important just to have other girls backs absolutely like hashtag end girl hate damn straight and just like on a side note anyone who does not support you taking a selfie should not be in your squad I agree. I love taking selfies. Okay, so in this male-dominated industry, how do you keep your girl power intact? What do you do in your down girl time? As much as I'm all girl power, I also do have my boy card and and I'm worried that it's going to get taken away from me now. But the one thing that I love to do is get my nails done on the regular. A girl has got to do her nails, I mean. Phone, keyboard, when you're driving, you're constantly looking at your nails. They have to be beautiful because you have to look at them. Yes, girl. Now, you're all about that get up and go. What is your favorite get up and go quote? My favorite get up and go quote is, you have to do what others don't in order to achieve what others won't. Boom. Boom. Love that. That is so inspiring. It inspires me and then I I get this motivation to go to the gym, but then I eat a chocolate and that feeling passes. You see, this is why we're best friends. This is why we're besties. Because you're like beyond cool. 
So guys, that's what it takes to have it all, and then some. All it takes is a little focus. Don't stray now. Click on the link to listen to the other episodes of our Glasso Vitamin Water podcast series.